Brian Stephanie, Max Mish didn't speak at his court arraignment today. Vermont's attorney general says Mish bought two high capacity gun magazines while out of state. Owning those is illegal in Vermont, according to two new laws signed by the governor last year. To the best of my knowledge, this is the first charge, criminal charge, as a result of the law that was passed last year. Mish pleaded not guilty in Bennington court to the two gun-related charges he faces. Less than a month ago, Donovan announced his office would not seek a legal battle against Mish for allegedly racially harassing Kaya Morris online, citing the right to free speech. She was Vermont's only black female legislator and decided not to seek re-election because of harassment. Mish even showed up when the attorney general released the findings of that investigation. Why do you have to walk into a battle? valuable community conversation with that symbol of hate. Because I can. Donovan says these charges aren't meant to be vindictive. We treat everybody with respect. Mish self-identifies as a white supremacist. According to court paperwork, he legally bought an assault-style rifle in Vermont last fall and later made the trek to New Hampshire to buy two 30-round magazines. His estranged wife told her therapist, who later told police. The documents say the Bennington Police Department investigated similar claims about him two months before. We did not receive that information. Uh, as I said, we received this new information in the week of January 22nd. Going forward, Mish is not allowed to own guns. He also cannot contact his estranged wife, Kaya Morris, or her husband. Both Mish's attorney and Kaya Morris declined comment. Attorney General T.J. Donovan says that there's no evidence to say that Mish's gun purchases are tied to his previous racial statements, but did note that there has been ongoing dialogue where Mish has made racist statements against Morris online. In Bennington, Tom Garris, NBC5 News.